Hi, my name's Kev. I'm responsible for uh, drawing the cat phrases every night. Um, and a couple of you have asked if I could uh, do another sort of making of behind the scenes type video. So I thought I would do that tonight since I have a little bit of time. Uh, I also thought I would draw a face on my index finger. Let's get drawing, shall we? I will tell you what I've uh, decided to do so that I can take you through the whole process so you know what it's like. So the phrase I've decided to draw tonight is uh, on the fence, which funnily enough I've been on the fence about drawing for quite some time because it's pretty easy actually. It's just going to be somebody standing on a fence, and uh, which means someone's going to get that within about 10 seconds. Usually I'll do a small sort of thumbnail type image to get a feel for it, very small. Uh, so I guess we'll have like a fence here like this and somebody I guess sitting on the fence, that's the full form of the phrase so it'll be something like that at the end. Uh, yeah. So I always start with pencil. I try and do these drawings as quickly as possible anyway, just it's sort of an exercise that I, I got into doing because Normally, when uh, I have a blank piece of paper in front of me, <laughs> the thing that gets drawn is Batman, uh, without exception. Something happens in me when I see a blank piece of paper. People always comment on how weirdly I hold my pencil. I have done since a young age, although at school, they did put one of those massive rubber triangles on the pencil to try and make me hold it properly, even though I was... Um, you know, quite neat writing really for a for a child and yet they're still trying to make me uh, conform to their pencil holding technique anyway needless to say I, it didn't work I haven't thought about the sort of character I'm going to draw I've kind of got a fence there uh, I start with an animation technique which is called the line of action uh, and there's not going to be an awful lot of action because he's just going to be literally sitting on the fence. And I'll build it up with uh, shapes like this. So you've kind of got the uh, butt area here and uh, I'll kind of uh, make that look three-dimensional so you can get a feel of the, the volumes as they call it. Uh, it's got quite a small head actually. This, this will be the legs. And I don't know. It's not that interesting, is it really? This drawing. Maybe he should be a little bit more unsure about what he's gonna do. So we'll have a something like that. We've got a bit of a rough gesture type drawing here. Get the feet roughed in there. Maybe the legs should be a bit more bent, actually. Very loosely drawn at first, usually. Then I'll get the pen onto it, on the case. So the uh, standard, sort of good for a round nose. Eyes that sort of plot around this sphere. You have to think in 3D volumes all the time, which is something that I've learned from uh, <laughs> trying to go down the animation route. Have the mouth stretched down and okay so yeah this guy's sitting on the fence he's a little bit unsure can you guess what it is oh no I can't do that I've never really drawn anyone sitting on a fence I don't think before so that's good that's that's what it's all about for me is just drawing things that I wouldn't naturally draw that's the rough drawing done so this is a really good pen actually it's the uh, Pentel brush pen. I find it very difficult to breathe while I'm um, using this pen for some reason. I stop breathing to draw the line, uh, maybe to keep me more steady. I think snipers do that as well, to make sure they get the shot. I don't know, he looks a little bit more suicidal than I was hoping. Deep in thought, we'll say deep in thought. I usually like to draw um, my human characters, or characters that well, just all characters I like to draw with the brush pen. Anything that's sort of an inanimate object, like a plank of wood or a fence, uh, I would go back to fine liners, usually. 
Um, so I've got an extra small fine liner here. Uh, well, it's not fine liner, it's one of these artist pen. Uh, I'll try and keep it in the shop. If you're wondering what kind of paper I use, it's very cheap paper from Morrison's. Uh, it's uh, a sketch pad, which was one pound. Put some wood grain on it. Uh, obviously, I will erase all the pencil lines with a putty rubber. Great. 15 minutes. Um. So there you have it. This guy is sitting on the fence. Um, thanks for watching. Um, yeah. Hope you found this interesting. I bored myself to death. I apologize. Good night.